So with my line of work, a lot of my clients are men and I would find that majority of men tend to have the same problem. They are all tending to have a woman that's disrespectful, a woman that may be unfaithful, or a woman that may be using them financially. Now, if this seems to be the problem you're facing, and if this seems to be a reoccurring theme with all the women that you date, they seem to be you always find yourself getting cheated on you always find yourself getting used you always find yourself getting disrespected i'm going to give you the reasons why this is happening to you and then how to prevent this from reoccurring so okay armand dupree here again uh most people call me armand with another video a reaction video by of a video by sadia khan which is a really interesting one listen guys if you've been struggling uh, to, uh, with women and so on and so forth and so on. Uh, listen, this is a very important video. It's not very long, but you are going to learn a heck of a lot, and then I'm going to take it to the next level. Stay tuned. Now, the, the reality is a lot of men will say, she lied to me in the beginning. She was so good. She was so good. She lied to me. She lied to me. She lied to me. Women never, ever, ever lie. Never do they lie. They might not <laughs> say the truth, but they always show you the truth. Every woman that you've been with that has hurt you, used you, cheated on you, stolen from you, whatever it is, she showed you her red flags from day one. You chose to ignore them. You ch Exactly. Uh, this is the, the deal, guys. Listen, if you've been struggling to get a woman in your life and so on and so forth, and you're doing everything you can to please women and so on, first of all, it's a big mistake. Okay, you can't do that. And, uh, and so on. But if you're insecure like that, you know, you're, you, you wonder, you know, because you have had bad success and no success, I should say, in the, in, in the past, um, women can smell this from a mile away. So pay attention and you're going to learn a lot. Chose to ignore them. This is what women will do. They meet a man and they'll basically show their red flags in not so clear ways. <laughs> so they might show it by simply by how she dresses. And she might show you that she might be provocative or she might show you with her sexual behavior. She might be very. Yeah, uh, the way she dresses, guys, listen, this is the first red flag. If she's showing most of her body on the street and so on and so forth, well, she's for the streets. OK, and that's not the kind of woman that you want. Uh, the woman, you know, is going to be reasonably conservatively dressed. OK, <laughs> I'm not saying she's a conservative. I'm saying conservatively dressed. OK, and uh those are the only women you want to approach. Don't waste your time because it'll cost you a lot of uh, money, a lot of heartaches and so on if you go to these women that are essentially wearing two buttons and a band-aid, okay? <laughs> Very sexually uh, liberal. She might show you in terms of how she talks about her exes. She might say that, oh, this, was, I, this guy was so toxic, this guy was so this, this, I'm still in love with this guy, whatever it is. She shows you some of her traits. She might show you through how she is as a parent. She might not have kids and not prioritize them, or she may have denied another man access to the children. And you think you're going to be captain, stepdad, and you're going to save the day, but the reality... <laughs> the reality is that does not happen, okay? And look, once uh, she could explain some things about how women manipulate men, and again, it gets more interesting as we go. She showed you that she denies men access to the children if she doesn't like them and you think you're going to be immune to that behavior? Not possible. So these women always, and myself included, we show men all of our red flags. Now we pick the man that allows us to get away with the most nonsense. Exactly. Now if you don't have many red flags as a woman, what will happen is you attract a man with really clear boundaries. What will happen is a man with boundaries can only be with a woman who doesn't have many red flags because they're a perfect match. She doesn't do too much. He doesn't tolerate too much. Uh, tolerate. This is the whole idea. Listen, if you let a woman get away with stuff that you know she shouldn't be disrespecting you and so on, is the moment you let your guard down, she's going to begin to manipulate you more and more and more. And the whole thing is to have boundaries and don't believe that that might shove her away. If it does, she's not the one for you to begin with. But you say, no, I don't do it that way. I don't believe in that. Or, you know, I don't expect, uh, accept that and so on. That's not what I want in, uh, in my life. And so put those boundaries and women, women will uh, respect you 10 times more. They work really well. But a woman filled with red flags will only select a man who's filled with low self-esteem. 
she will find the man who doesn't know how to exert his boundaries, doesn't know how to look for red flags, and doesn't know how to stand up for himself. That's the man she will select. So if you are a man with really low self-esteem and really value the connection more than the respect that she's giving you, you are going to find yourself constantly manipulated, cheated on, and disrespected by Exactly. And, and this is the whole thing. Listen, guys, if you're lacking self-confidence, I want to talk more about that uh, uh, later, but uh, I can show you to have how to have the, uh, all the conf uh, confidence in the world, actually. And so this is the whole idea that you can really build yourself up very quickly with specialized training and nobody else is teaching this, by the way. By women. So this is how she knows. Firstly, how, you, how a woman spots a man with low self-esteem is he seems to be super impressed with her beauty. When a man is so impressed by a woman's physical beauty, she starts to have a power over him. The most beautiful woman in the world will get in line for a man who's not that attractive if he's not that impressed by her appearance. But Okay, this is a big secret, guys, okay? Uh, when a man is not impressed, and she can tell it, but you're more interested in your, her character and so on, and her be physical beauty does not impress you. That's how you attract women, by the way. A woman who's not that attractive will become disrespectful and push boundaries with a man who is in awe of her beauty because she sees it as a power play. So when you are with a woman, and if you don't have a lot of experience with beautiful women, and you haven't been around a lot of women, women smell that off you very quickly. And then they learn that they can push your boundaries and they learn that maybe they can disrespect you, maybe they can cheat on you, maybe, but you're not going to go anywhere because she knows you can't do any better looks-wise. That's how we know a man's got low self-esteem. Whereas when a woman acts like her looks are great, he's very attracted to her, she's very beautiful, but they are not the glue for the relationship. He's, he's not going to stay with her purely based on looks. Then she learns to respect him more. She learns that she has to bring something other than appearance and other than sex in order to keep this man. But when she learns that her appearance is the only thing he needs, after every fight, after every disrespect, she knows that she can simply use her beauty to get back in his good books and it is light work for her. She doesn't even have to try. So that's the first signal. Another signal that you've got low self-esteem is you don't set boundaries. Now what I mean by that is she's done something disrespectful You've seen it as disrespectful, but you're afraid to say it, and you don't say it. You want to keep the peace. Now, men who desire and focus on keeping the peace... First of all, what it's going to do, uh, you're going to lose her anyway. If you do not put the boundaries down, that's the guarantee that you're going to lose her, because she has no respect for you. She's looking for somebody who's better. Uh, women like to be led, okay? although they usually they won't admit it. But that's the reality. So if you're pussyfooting, uh, buying her things, first date, you got flowers, forget it, you know. <laughs> you don't take a woman out on a fancy date costing you a few hundred dollars on the first date. No. If that's what she wants, I mean, about, I think it's, I don't recall if it's 33% or 35% or something like that. No, 37. 33 or 37, I forget which one, of women will go on dates only to get food, free food, you know nice fancy dinners and so on and so forth and they have no intentions of ever having a long-term relationship for you if i'm going to take a woman out on her first date we're going for a walk if she gets upset at that i've just eliminated a gold digger saved myself a whole lot of problems at the expense of keeping the respect are always going to lose that woman hmm. i'm not saying you scream and shout at her when she does something wrong that's definitely not what i'm suggesting but what I'm suggesting is you let it be known that this behavior is something you're uncomfortable with and you let it be known. And now if she continues to break that boundary after you've communicated it again and again and again, you don't keep repeating yourself. You remove yourself. Instead of repeating yourself and like holding her by the throat and trying to get her to understand and respect you, <laughs> you simply respect yourself. Exactly. And this is the thing, she, has, you know, she disrespects you over and over again. Now, if the disrespect was cheating, it's done right there. Walk away because you, a cheater will always cheat. Okay, so this is the whole idea. So a woman who wants to cheat or a woman who asks you for an open relationship, goodbye, done. You know, there's no going back from that. If she just brings up an open relationship, for example, it's done because it's in her mind. 
and you're not going to get it out of there you see so women are looking to monkey branch all the time so this is very important and you leave and if she sees that you can't respect yourself enough and you exactly because she'll spot that women are sensitive that way they'll spot that you don't respect yourself enough if she does something disrespectful other than cheating or something like that um physically or emotionally she does it once she does it twice third time you're out that's it no look don't waste your time your money i mean your life is all that you have and there's a lot of good women out there when you know how to look for them but most coaches don't teach you that okay even sadia here i mean look she's she's a fantastic woman she's a psychologist she's got uh, she's been a, a, a dating coach for men for a few quite a few years She's taught psychology for, I think, 10 years or something like that. But there's one thing, and she'll tell you what to do. She'll tell you the reality, the truth. I really respect this woman. But she will not teach you, most coaches will not teach you how to change that within you. It's a struggle, struggle, struggle. It doesn't have to be. Okay? We'll talk more about that in a moment. Can't leave her. You've already lost her. Yeah. She knows you're not going anywhere. That's and she'll was... never respect you again. And she will never, she'll know that the next boundary, the next fight, she can take it further. But if she learns that when she crosses your boundaries, you withdraw yourself, she starts to get in line. Now, a mistake a lot of men do is when a woman crosses their boundaries, maybe she's cheated on them, maybe she's disrespected them, this, that, and the other. Something's happened. Instead of exerting their boundaries, they reward that behavior. They might then beg her to stay or they might buy her something. They might reward <laughs> the bad behavior. Yeah. So she learns that, oh, God, I can cheat on you. You still pay my bills or I can disrespect you and you still turn up at my work to say sorry. This is crazy. I didn't know it was this easy. So she <laughs> Exactly, you see. And so, again, listen to this lady. She knows what she's talking about in this context, right? And uh, you have to put boundaries right away, first thing. Like, other than cheating, that you're done, okay? Don't waste your time. It's the only life you have. I mean, look, listen. Um, last fall, actually, I had a guy come to me. He was 36 years old, never had a girlfriend, okay? Never any bedroom fun. Was totally afraid to talk to women. He was like, blah, 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 you know, that kind of stuff, right? He was with me three months, once a week for about an hour. Three months later, he had lots of beautiful women chasing him. But that's a whole longer story, but it's on some of my other videos. But anyway, so this is the, it's not hard. Listen, this guy was totally lacking confidence. And then a few weeks later, he was becoming the man. Okay, so that's important. She starts to disrespect you even more. You don't have boundaries, yeah? And you reward that. Now, where this is coming from and how you know where this is coming from is chances are there was some inconsistent love in your childhood. Mm -hmm. If you're a man who has problems with, with women and they don't seem to be respecting you, you can't exert your boundaries, whatever it is, chances are when you were growing up you had a mother or a mother figure that either didn't give enough love or was inconsistent with love or didn't allow you to be yourself one of those things so because you didn't receive unconditional support and love from a woman growing up you seem to think having to earn love and beg a woman to respect you and beg a woman to love you and trying to buy her love is a form of attachment it's just how it should be you don't know what the other side looks like. You don't know what it looks like to have a woman that says, are you hungry? Do you want to eat something? How can I help? Or did that upset? Exactly. And this is the kind of woman you want to look for. This is exactly what she said there. You know, oh, is there a problem with this? Or can I help you? You know, and so on. Can I give you a massage? All these, and I'm talking just, just a massage, okay? All these things, okay? Is, but when a woman goes the other way, you know, I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually attract a lot of beautiful women. And uh, we'll, I'll just finish up here. Set you, I'm so sorry, let me take that back. You don't know what that looks like because you didn't experience it in your childhood. And as a result, you go into adulthood looking for an accepting, unacceptable behavior. So you have to just spot that pattern in yourself and break that habit. Otherwise, what will happen is in your desperate attempt to keep this woman, you've already lost her. Exactly. And, and this is the whole idea. Listen, um, usually, according to the experts, it can take up to 90 days or more uh, to change a behavior, to change a habit behavior. And when emotions are involved, like within relationships and stuff like that, it can take a heck of a lot longer. And I can show you how to easily, no, no struggles here, by the way, guys. 
like how to easily change any habit structure within a couple of weeks or so, two, three weeks as a rule, okay? And it's very easy. And uh, if you're willing to invest about one hour per day of your life for your life, you can make it happen. And everybody says, work on yourself, work on yourself. What does that mean? Take all these courses and so on and spend thousands or tens of thousands of dollars. No, it's really simple. Learning to go within to tap into the alpha brainwave levels and then the theta brainwave levels. And why that's important is because with those, that training to be able to function at those states, it's easy for you then to then tap into your masculine heart energy. And that's what's going to attract women big time. Subtle, not to say a word even, okay? Women pick up on it and woo, who is this guy? Let's uh, wrap it up here. And she's going to keep, you're going to keep losing her in more and more disrespectful ways. It will get worse. It won't get better. So if you have this mentality like, oh, my partner's going to change. Um, she's just a bit traumatized. She's just a bit this. <laughs> I'm not saying don't forgive people. But what I am saying is have your boundaries and there's repercussions for crossing your boundaries rather than rewards for being disrespectful. Now, if you can bear that in mind, chances are you'll be able to attract and secure not only a better value woman, but you will become a better value man if you follow those steps. Thank you. Exactly. And so let's talk about this, okay? You see, what happens usually if you tap into your masculine heart energy could take you years or decades, for some people never. But when you learn to function, easily function at the alpha theta brainwave levels, okay, you can accomplish that in just, like I said, two or three weeks. And so you become, it's not like, you can't, uh, this is, a lot of people say, fake it till you make it. That does not work with relationships, guys, okay? And here's why. Because women, okay, I mean, men and women are different, biologically, mentally, and so on. You know, we, we think differently, okay? And the whole idea is that with women, the reason you can't fake it is because women are in their biology, in their DNA, are more sensitive than men. That's the way nature works, because she has to be that sensitive, be nurturing a child and so on. This is how we're built, okay? And so if you're trying to fake it, you know, you've learned some good one-liners and pick-up lines and so on, good quality women will sense it right away and forget it. You're done before you begin. But if you're actually exuding, you see, here's the deal. Here's why this is so, so powerful is that your life force energy, your basic life force energy, exudes from your being, according to science, at least eight feet. Now, that's as far as our present instrumentation can measure, but I believe it's infinite for a whole bunch of other reasons. But when you walk in, when you learn to tap into your masculine heart energy, that is the energy, your vibe, if you will, that exudes from your being, and women pick up on it. You can walk into a room, you know, uh, with a confident step, not arrogant, okay? You, you want to uh, come across as a, you don't want to come across as a know-it-all kind of thing, but you're confident, you're stepping, you know, uh, your step is just a little bit slower and a little bit longer. That gives you a whole walk of confidence. It's really quite simple, guys. Practice it a little bit and you just, but then women, they pick up on that. And you haven't said a word yet, you see? You might glance at a woman and smile a bit and keep on going. Don't try to hustle her. If you chase women, they'll run away. If you don't chase women and you get their attention on that masculine heart energy level, they'll be chasing you. And that's why you can have your pick. So really that's what it'll... Listen, guys. Most people do not understand the alpha and theta brainwave levels. What does that mean? You hear about it. You hear the words and so on. But you don't really know. Nobody can explain what it really is because it's not something that can be explained, but it can be experienced. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be having a, a two-hour, totally free masterclass where I'll teach you how to make that movie in your mind, what I call the movie in your mind. And I don't like the word visualization. It's using your imagination the right way because most coaches te teach it the wrong way. And that's why it doesn't work for 95% of people. But I'll teach you how to make that movie, and that's how you can learn to make the changes in your subconscious mind. And I'll give you that powerful technique that you'll have for the rest of your life and how to make that movie the right way and implant it into your subconscious mind. And on top of that, in that free masterclass, I'm going to give you an experience of the alpha brainwave levels. So you don't have to believe a darn thing that I say. You'll experience it for yourself and now you'll know. 
the de-stressing, the relaxation, and so on. It's going to put you in a whole different vibe with the ladies, okay? And so I'm going to put the, uh, the link in the description below. And so go and register and get on the waiting list for that master class. There's no hook to it. It is. If you, if you never see me again, that's fine too, you know? Yeah, go, hope you'll take my advanced training. But the thing that's different with my training is I don't charge you a whole pile of money up front. My rates are very, very reasonable, more than reasonable. But you pay by the month with no contract. So why can I do that and nobody else seems to do that? Because it's going to work. You're going to know it for yourself. And you practice what I teach you one hour per week, okay? You'll be around for a lot, lot longer than that master class. You know what I mean? And so, but that's the whole idea, guys, you know? To learn how to recapture your masculinity. So many men today, because women are all over the place, and when are trying to please, please the women. You do that, they have no respect for you. You be friendly, be nice, but you got a boundary. Hey, that's the way it is, lady. You know, you don't say quite that way, but that's the bottom line. And then you walk away, you know, or whatever, you see. And if, like I said, any cheating, gone. You'll never, never succeed with that woman. She'll never have respect for you. You let her get, get away with cheating once, you're done. You're messed up. You might stick with it. You might be in a marriage or whatever. Never, never marry that kind of woman. And so, on that note, like I said, uh, subscribe to the channel and, uh, you know, give me a like if you like the whole idea where this is going. Hit that bell so you get notified. And do register for the free master class. I guarantee you'll never regret it. It's not going to cost you any money, but it's going to bring your understanding to a whole new level. And on that note, uh, Armand Dupuis here. Most people call me Armand. I'm going to say au revoir.